Okay guys, we are here. We're gonna get our saddle fitted or we're gonna get a, a, a fitting. Uh, this is Alex, this Hi is our guys. saddle fitter and she's gonna show us what she's doing. Yes. Um, to start off, um, we locate the uh, seventh rib on the horse, um, which then will bring us up to the 13th vertebrae on the horse's back. Um, and that just runs straight down. Um, the rest of the vertebrae are on an angle. Uh, so we want the rider to be sitting right on this 13th vertebrae. It's the strongest point on the horse's back um, and it keeps the rider in balance. Um, That's cool. Balance. Yeah. Um, as well, we also look at the horse's shoulder. Um, we want that to be nice and free, so we don't want anything interfering in that. Um, when the horse moves, the shoulder moves back as well, so you want to take that into consideration. Um, and... Um, He's like, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So when you lift the horse's leg, this muscle here protrudes. Um, so this muscle here is the intersecting point of all the muscles, the important muscles on the horse. Um, so obviously if that is restricted, the horse is not going to move as freely. So we want everything open. We don't want any um, restriction of any shoulder, um, any muscles, anything like that. That's so cool. Yeah. Did you know any of that? No. No. <laughs> so we'll be learning some new things. All right. Um, yeah, so to start off, I will go grab some saddles. We'll come with you. We'll you need help? help? Yeah, for okay. sure. This is the kind of trunk I want, one that's filled with saddles. <laughs> Option one. Yeah. I can already tell you she I hates... Like that one. What? You always say she hates the white lines. So that yeah, is extremely customizable. You can do any color stitching you want. Um, also, this is grained buffalo, um, so it can be the calfskin, um, and then you can have a fancy design on the side. But now she just don't like it like down at the bottom. Oh, like okay, because she likes this saddle. Okay. Yeah. So these saddles are demos. You like this one, Gabby? It's similar. I like it, kind of. I don't like the... She doesn't like these white lines down here. But whatever, whatever it looks like doesn't matter. How it feels is what's, what's important. So yeah, the Breed's S, it's got a narrow twist to it. Um, so it does have a raised seat, so there's gel. It kind of puts you in sport mode um, for jumping, per se. Storm's like, what? What are you talking about? It's almost treats. <laughs> oh, saddle pad do you need or no? Uh, so I'm just gonna Oh yeah, it, sorry. And, and then I'll know what to show. So this actually fits in quite nicely. Um, it's not pinching him, everything's nice and open. Um, to keep in mind, um, once you put weight on the, on the saddle, it all will drop yeah. down. Um, so you want to make sure that there's still some clearance. To, um, I'm just going to shim it so you'll ride with shims on. And then you'll, once you get on, you'll kind of tell me how you feel. So how are these for, like, I know they're not adjustable, but if he goes up and down a little bit in weight, is that going to be like... If he goes down and like if this is a normal weight and if he goes he's gonna I, we're hoping he goes back down a little he's a bit up right now so if he's a bit up on weight um then i would just fit it a touch snug okay um i wouldn't say snug but okay I mean just so you adjust the fit yeah okay yeah, i would keep it in mind okay so is this saddle that he's wearing foam yes. or wool um so our saddles are made out of foam um i will actually show you on this saddle um, so what we do is we customize the paneling. Um, so as you can see here, we have front panels and back panels. Um, so we customize them to fit to the horse and the rider's balance. Um, the reason we do foam, um, it doesn't move, it stays put. Uh, in terms of the flocking saddles, um, it's not because you have or can reflock them, you have to reflock them. So you're constantly replacing them. The wool moves. It's like our ancestors, they were sleeping on wool mattresses and now we all sleep on foam. So it's kind of just the evolution of the saddles. Um, and you're not having to spend six to 800 bucks reflocking the saddle um, every year or um, once the panels deflate and lose shape. All right, thank you, that's good to know. This is gonna happen, saddle number one. Gabby's trying it on, trying it out. Look. I think what's gonna happen is that she's gonna like all three of them. 
but this is just for sizing. All right, what do you think of that, Gabby? Does it feel good? It's oh. brand new. <laughs> yeah. So at first the saddles come like a little stiff, um, and then once he greased them, they will loosen up and over shape. And it'll so, get darker too. Yeah. So that I, that doesn't surprise me. That is the model that has the raised twist to it. Um, so there is added gel. So it's, you, it's okay that you don't find it comfortable. Yeah, so when I've tried saddles in the past at the store, when it's like big up here, I can't, I hate it. It yeah. feels like I can't move. Yeah, and that's what's happened with the narrow twist. It, uh, it makes that deeper. Okay. Yeah. So a narrow twist makes that bigger. Well, so the narrow twist, um, I can't see, but on the top of the pommel, it just makes it, it makes it smaller. Okay. So it makes the twist on the top smaller, oh, okay. which brings everything yeah. a little more compact. Oh, okay. I um, mean, it is a very flat right. seat. Right. Okay. Yeah. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. Okay, so in the front, it actually to me looks good. In the back, when she was moving is what looked really loose somehow. Yeah, so what I do, um, once the rider starts riding, um, I keep an eye on it to see if this part is okay. moving. Okay, so I should just shut up and let you do your job. <laughs> okay. This saddle I recommend for more hunter jumper riders, the one that kind of, the ones that like to kind of be in that half seat all the time. So yeah. in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough Just the side of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh you make me strong Saddle number two What, what kind is this? Uh, so this is the Brizo. Um, Brizo. This is just a different model um, So again, you don't have that narrow <laughs> twist on the top So this is a wider twist? Yeah Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. See, that was my favorite. I yeah, very different person. model. Just the skirt. Uh, actually, one of the skirts looks longer than the other. Oh no, no, I lied. <laughs> Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Spurs on mom. Yeah, she doesn't like spurs. Does he like that saddle? What? Does Storm like that saddle? Yes. Duh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so how does it feel? Jump in that so can you tell the size based like is is it is it the same tree size that one uh so what we do is we do a standard medium medium wide tree, oh, okay and then we build up or build down the panels oh, okay. to fit the is only time we ever open up trees is if it's for like a round draft well, the first thing in the morning and the last QA. um so what i do is i kind of look at how you're sitting in the seat to judge the seat size um, as well as the flap. So um, this is a 2A. Um, the, the two is the length of the flap and then the number or the letter A is how far forward it is. Um, so what I want is when you're sitting in the saddle um, and you're at your hand. stirrup length, I want you to be able to make proper contact with the knee pad. I don't want your knee coming over or being too far back. Okay. That's when you customize. Flat to fit you. I also want four fingers between the top of your boot 
um, and the bottom of the flap. So you've got good room. You could always go a little shorter with the flap, but if you're gonna grow, um, I would keep it at the two to play it safe for sure. Um, that way you can kind of grow into it. So she's been telling me that basically um, this saddle can be at zero and zero, and then she can put shims in here to push the saddle back a bit, and she can go plus five or plus 10 with the shims in the front. And because Gabby leans forward, that could be beneficial because it could keep right. her in the saddle position properly right so um yeah so here i've obviously shimmed five in the front that will uh, lift the saddle a little bit more off the withers um, once the rider gets on it will go down just a little bit um, so you have to keep that in mind um, and because she leans forward a, li a little bit when she rides you want to kind of put the rider back into its balance so by not shimming the back um, and shimming the front it will kind of give her a little uphill uh, feel perfect in the balance perfect and you like the feel of it right yeah. This is saddle number three. Very similar to the second saddle, just wider, wider what? Uh, wider panels. On the wider, back. wider panels on the back. What do wider panels mean? Um, so, okay, so the wider panels, as you can see, they just fit a lot wider on the horse's back. They okay. have a wider spread on them. Okay. Um, that's kind of nicer when you have a horse that's round or has like a, a very wide set back. Okay. Um, so it just sits so it's not tipping. Right. So it sits a lot nicer on the More back. balanced. Yeah, exactly. As you guys can remember from the start when I said that uh, that muscle we have that uh, protrudes when you lift the leg. So as you can see, this is all nice and free. So there's no restriction when you're um, putting your uh, contact on the knee rolls. Um, so that's nice and open. Um, it's obviously not restricting on the shoulder. Um, so then he and, has... and she also was mentioning how with the billets, um, so our saddle that's a bit tight up here, we put it on the last two billets so that it frees this part up a little bit. And so based on saddle fit, that's what you can use these billets for, right? You yeah, absolutely. Rearrange um, how you use them. Yeah, so if a saddle's slipping forward or, uh, slipping forward or slipping back, um, you can adjust that. Also on our saddles, um, this is just the basic um, PB uh, girthing style, but you can have the billets go on an angle to the front or an angle to the back or oh, keep them straight like this. That's if you get it custom made. That's yeah, super yeah, cool. Yeah, custom made. And uh, they can come in used as well like that, so. Okay, I missed the third saddle trial, but apparently it's the best. So, what kind of twist is this? Uh, so this is the, this is the regular twist. Um, so there's a regular, uh, Narrow and a regular and narrow. Regular and narrow. I mean, you kind of get a wide twist, but we don't. nobody does that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, this saddle. Um, obviously, you can see the wide panels. Uh, she has said this is her favorite of the three. What does Storm think? I like it too. <laughs> oh, it's in between the two. So you can't decide. <laughs> she told me the other day. I'm sure Storm will pick the saddle. Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul guys that kind of concludes our saddle Sorry. fitting um, we've decided that we like the yards uh, lab um, so we'll kind of see what we go from there um, so if anybody needs my help um, my name's Alex Benelopoulos um, I'm sure you guys can just comment um, Laura will have something up so you guys have a way of reaching me um, so I look forward to meeting all of you and thanks for having me thank you very much for bringing all your beautiful saddles <laughs> And, <laughs> and helping us and figuring out which one so, uh, Gabby likes. We absolutely love these saddles. Yeah. And I love that they're foam. And thank you for explaining everything so well to us. That was amazing. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. Um, I'm more than willing to help you. Okay, thank you so much. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.